Have you ever wondered what it takes to be just an amazing food delivery driver? In this video, I'm going to share the seven habits of highly successful food delivery drivers. That's right. Let's get right into it. My name is Russ. I deliver food part time. And so you can rely on my experience to give you these tips. The first tip, the absolutely first and most important thing. Do you know what? You need to take care of yourself. You need to help yourself first before you can help the customers. What does this mean? You need to get plenty of rest. You're going to be out on the road all day driving and it really demands your constant attention. So do yourself a favor and get plenty of rest because you're going to need it. The next thing, eat plenty of food. You're going to be out delivering when other people are hungry, so you shouldn't be hungry. The same thing goes for water. Always keep well hydrated because this is going to increase your stamina and allow you to provide that great customer service to our customers. The second habit of highly effective food delivery drivers, be prepared. That's right. That's why we carry the hot bags with us. Customers want their food hot and if their food comes cold, they prefer it to be cold. Your customers are going to hold this against you if their food doesn't taste good, if it's not hot and fresh. That's going to reflect in your tips and your ratings. So be professional, do yourself a favor and always use the hot bags. The next thing you need, use a battery charger. Your phone is going to use a lot of power when you're out doing food delivery and this will really help you. They're inexpensive on Amazon. You know, there's many brands out there. I like the Anker brand myself. So please keep your phone charged. Have one of those with you when you're doing deliveries. And this is especially true for Amazon Flex deliveries because you're out all day. You need that power. The third habit, keep your vehicle prepared. So what does this mean? Keep your tank full of gas when you go out and deliver. That way you don't have to worry. Keep up with routine maintenance such as oil changes, making sure your belts are okay and all your fluids are okay. Also, don't forget about your battery. You kind of need that, right? So please check it and replace it every few years. It is really not worth risking getting stuck on the road somewhere because you're not going to make money. So do keep your vehicle well prepared and it'll take care of you and enable you to be that highly successful food delivery driver. Number four, have a good attitude, right? It's not fake being positive. No, just have a good attitude. You already know that work is hard. That's what we do. We work, we earn money. So make the best of it. Have a good attitude. Things aren't going to always go the way you planned. Learn from it and move on, but don't dwell on it. Do you know that you just can't create reality in your mind? You can't think positive happiness and, and it'll just manifest. That is not true. Hard work is true and that's what we're going to do. So you can choose to have a good attitude while you do your work. And do you know that when you make a good first impression with the customers, that's going to affect your ratings and tips. So by having a good attitude, you can go into each delivery fresh and I've kind of already gotten into it, right? Number five is customer service. This is a great skill that you need to have. And the good news is you will work on it and get much better the more that you do it. So just remember, if something goes wrong with one customer, learn from it because that next customer is brand new and you have that chance to make a good first impression. And this is really going to pay off in your ratings and your tips. The easiest way to work on this, communicate with your customer, right? They want to know what's going on. So if you're delayed in the restaurant, share that with them. If the order has something that's not available or they need to substitute, then reach out and contact your customer and ask them. And you know what? Your time is valuable. So after a while, if they're not responding, then you make the best judgment for yourself on behalf of that customer and you just go with it. And don't be afraid to ask them for feedback. I'll put a card up here. I've made previous videos about the importance of sending text messages to your customers. So check that out later. All right, let's move on. The sixth habit that really you must develop if you're going to be a successful food delivery driver, be on time, be punctual. Everything is based on that. Think about it. The customers, they want their food. The restaurants, they want you to come pick it up. And the gig app company, they want you to be reliable and dependable. So be on time. There's so many benefits to this in food delivery and life. 
when you're on time, you can think clearly. You're not rushed and pressured into making decisions that maybe you shouldn't. And keep in mind, if you're not rushed, that means there's no need to ever speed on the highway, on the road. Don't risk a ticket. That's going to cost you a lot of money and virtually erase your gig economy earnings. What's worse, have an accident, damage your car, hurt someone else, kill someone. So obviously you don't want to go there. Being punctual is also an indication of your professionalism. This is one thing that you can do to keep yourself looking good with customers, restaurants, and the company. And number seven, be hungry. Not for food, but be hungry for opportunity, right? Try out all the different apps. Maybe there's one that's a better fit for you. If you're trying out all the apps, you can multi-app and have multiple sources of income. Also, where are these orders coming from? You need to research that. Know your markets. Drive around and figure out where the different types of orders are coming from. There are always going to be slow times, and really the last couple months have been slow here as well. So if needed, travel to other areas. What if there's another great market around the corner that you're just not aware of? Now keep in mind, you know, your mileage and your time, but if you want to earn money, you need to be hungry for all these opportunities. I hope I've sparked some creativity for you today. Take a look at these seven habits of highly effective food delivery drivers and apply them to yourself as well. My name is Russ. Please like the video and the channel. And it's so beautiful out here under this nice blue sky, beautiful weather. And that reminds me, I have a video here for you when I was doing Amazon Flex. And it, it had such beautiful views of the ocean and mountains. So check that out. And I'll see you in my next video.